This episode of today's iconic moment in New York sports history is presented by Tri-State Cadillac Dealers. June 24, 1947, Brooklyn Dodger Jackie Robinson stole home in the major leagues for the very first time. Jackie began his baseball career in the Negro Baseball League, playing one year for the Kansas City Monarchs before joining the Dodgers in 1947. Early on, he became known for being a distraction on the base pass. Dodgers executive Branch Rickey, who signed Robinson, was aware of his base running speed and told Robinson not to be afraid to try and steal bases. On April 15, 1947, Robinson made his debut for the Dodgers at Ebbets Field in Brooklyn, breaking baseball's color barrier. On June 24th of that year, he stole home for the first time. The Dodgers were in Pittsburgh playing the Pirates and Brooklyn was in second place in the National League. Heading into the fifth inning, the game was tied at two. Robinson grounded to third and just beat out a potential double play. He then advanced to third base on Carl Ferrillo's single. On a 2-0 count, Ferrillo stole second base, and on the very next pitch, Robinson stole home, barely beating the throw and scoring the winning run in the Dodgers' 4-2 victory over the Pirates. After his first season with the Dodgers, he was named Rookie of the Year. He stole 29 bases that season. Over his Major League career, he stole home 19 times in the regular season and once during the 1955 World Series. During his time with Brooklyn, he stole a total of 197 bases, including a career-high 37 during his MVP season back in 1949. Robinson retired at the end of the 1956 season and was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1962.